shocked from the back door the law they brought to Brussels European Union Parliament. This is uh, just a few hours ago. The junta from the back door. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen during the debate on the state of the European Union at the European Parliament in Strasbourg, France, 13th of September 2023. The session runs from 11 to 14 September. States will become China, the members of the European Parliament warn. The European Union is introducing a loophole in its upcoming artificial intelligence law that allows law enforcement agencies to use retrospective facial recognition technology without court approval, according to members of European Parliament Sven Jahan. Retrospective facial recognition? What does that mean? The German Minister of Parliament, who is a member of the Liberal group Renew, said that the changes were not included in the original agreement on the AI law that was finalized in early December, so they came later. Under the agreement reached in December, law enforcement was allowed to use remote biometric identification systems in public places, but only under certain conditions. The technology can be used with court approval and only for a strictly defined list of crimes. However, since the full legal text was drawn up by the EU Council on December 22nd, changes have been introduced according to political reports. A hand called uh, the final text of the AI law an assault on civil rights that could allow the irresponsible and disproportionate use of biometric identification technology as we know it only by authoritarian states like China. Khan's clarion call has sparked concerns among human rights groups that junta arrangements are being pushed through the back door with a deadline of May 2024 for states to vote on the pandemic agreement, which will give the World Health Organization the right to declare states of emergency whenever it wishes. We had heard from both the Commission and Parliament that facial recognition is subject to strict safeguards and is only allowed in certain exceptional circumstances, said Daniel Leffer, senior, senior policy fellow at Digital Rights NGO Access Now. He said the most recent text we have seen contradicts these reports. The European Union governments are set to receive the full text of the AI law today on January 24, that's today of course, with the aim of giving the go-ahead on February 2nd. That's in about uh, a week or so. And after that, the Parliament will have to approve the law by a vote in the plenary Parliament committees, political groups or alliances of more than 40 Ministers of Parliament will be able to propose amendments, which if approved will need further legislative work in the Council and Parliament. And this I've translated from a Greek article for you. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.